Any questions on how this could work today? We're splitting them up, things we know, and we're doing everything individually, adding them together. The next thing I'm going to do, so in your notebook, tomorrow I'm on there. Who would you from today? Anyway, you guys can work tomorrow. We're going to find the surface area of this. Do you need to leave some room for here? Okay. Then the next one I'm going to do is this one right here. So this is the next one you're going to put in, but leave some space for the surface area portion of the other one. You don't have to stop, just worry about yourself. Volume of this guy. So I already know I have a pyramid up top. And then have like a rectangular prism. Actually, it's a cube. Let's just talk about the pyramid. The pyramid. Pyramid, you have to find the area of the base times the height. There's one number in here for that pyramid that I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use 6.4. What do we need 6.4 for, though? The surface area. The surface area. So we're going to worry about him on it. Today, we just need that five feet for the thing. How do I find the base again? So here's my base. What shape is the base? Oops. No, what's the base? Oh, eight. Eight. So if this is eight, these are eight, right? So to find the, in this base, the area of the base times the height of it divided by three. So my, my base, or my area of the base would be eight times eight. So this part right here would be the B. Times me by the height of the whole thing, which would have been five. And I'm going to divide that whole thing by three. That's going to give me the pyramid. Now when you do it on your calculator, you're going to get a decimal and rounds it in your extent. Rounds it in your extent. And that's just the pyramid. Or you use base times the initial, but then you use base times the base. What do you mean? What? Why does it say base times height divided by three on the top end, but B times B on the bottom? Because this, this, this 8 times 8 is the equal to the area of my base. Because B equals area of base. Oh, whoops. And the base there, base my base, is the square. Times the height, which would be 5. Divided by 3 gives me that term. Then the cube, you can figure out yourself. That's pretty easy. Though. What's the dimensions of the cube? 8 times 8 times 8. Because you have your base and then your height. 8 Five, twelve, eight, cube. And adding them together. Six, eighteen, forty-seven. How are you guys doing so far? Okay. It's actually it can be kind of fun once you get the hang of it. I mean, you just gotta get if you know how to find the area of things. You Easily do this. It's everything we've done. Put together in form. Any questions on this one? Any questions on this one? All right, so you ready to see the next one? Okay, no, don't forget, Monday we're going to surface area because we'll leave some room. Leave some space. This is the next one I'm going to do. If you need to go to another sheet of paper, you might need to go to another sheet of paper. I know it's going to be like one sheet, but it's not going to work today. All right, go. Okay, what was that? You look very guilty. That was my <laughs> You look very guilty. 
Oh, that lying old Frey was talking about religion. Hmm. <laughs> Not well, because we all know he was guilty. <laughs> All right, so this is, we're going to do this table pal. It looks like a table. So our job is to find the, the volume of the whole thing. So there's a few ways that you can cut him. Okay, you can cut the legs off like this, or you can just cut the top off. The other class decided that they like the top cut off a little better. Yeah. And then they just have the, the legs off of it. You guys see it? Same as half off. So we'll do top, rectangular, prism. We'll do the legs. I'm just going to call them legs. If we find one, can we find both of them? They should be the same dimension. So if we can find one, we can find both. Legs, rectangular, prisms. All right, so now we got to find some of the dimensions here. We know this is 12. What other dimensions can we figure out? Uh, 7 minus 9 minus 6. Okay, so let's go back there. You're finding this right here. He's saying this whole thing is 9. If this is 7, I have 2 left over. That's what that would be. That's what that would be the height of that. That's good. And then i got to know this here. 6. 6. So if this is 6, this has to be 6. So for the top, is 12 times 6 times 2. And then you don't have to do any dividing by 2 or 3. Why? It's not a pyramid, and it's, there's no triangles involved. No dividing. People always get confused. Do I divide by two now? No. No dividing by two. Yep. All right. So then the legs. Let's talk about the dimensions of the legs. We have all these legs here. We know this is one. We know this is six. And seven would be the highest, right? So one times six times seven. And then I'm going to take it times what? Two. Times two because there are two legs. Times 84. Is everybody seeing how I'm finding some of the dimensions? You have to think about it. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to use this number, this number, this number. You have to think about What's the length of this? What's the height of this? How wide, how wide is this? Oh, it's everywhere. It's, it's taking everything you've done and putting it together. You just have to be the one to split it up and find the dimensions. And if they're missing. Not all of them are missing. I would have swore we've done yeah, we did an area. We did with the area. We just want to make sure I remember we split it out and we found the area. That's part of the three. That's just not what they're saying. <laughs> now we're adding volume. Now we're doing volume with it. And then on Monday we'll do surface area with it. So then it's every, pretty much what that was. We're defining front and back, top and bottom, side. So what is our test? Don't ask me questions. Okay. I can't ask in the future. Don't ask for a test. I don't know. Probably not until late next week. Uh, Maybe Thursday. Thursday. Maybe every Sunday. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try another one. Leave some room with that one for uh, for this area. This is the next one I'm going to talk about. These are the ones my other class got all freaky about. Because I heard there's triangles involved in this one. Don't get all freaky. You know how to do every single thing in here. Have some confidence in yourself. Question. Oh, problems. Huh? Do you have a problem? Hold on. Let's write some things out. Valley. Okay, so I have two things here. I have a triangular prism. And you have a rectangle. And a rectangular yeah. This is where people got confused. So let's just go back to our formula again for a prism. It's the area of the base times the height. I'm only going to focus on the top part. I'm not looking at the bottom. The triangle is my base. What are the dimensions of the triangle? Seven. Nothing else. 13, 6. Oh, no, 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 no. Just the triangle. Like, I'm not looking at it. 17 times. Oh, okay. So 7 times 
times seven and, seven and thirteen. So seven times thirteen. Then what am I going to do with those two? Divide by, divide divide by, by, two. by two. Okay. So let's find. What do you say? You don't want to do that. It's 45.5. Now I gotta find the height of the whole prism. So if I would like this guy on its side, how tall is it? Um, six. Six! You're correct. You see the six? Okay, times six. 273. Oh, okay. See what I mean by that? You have to find the area of the base, which is the triangle. You have to do your big B first. Then multiply by the height of the whole prism. That'll give you your, your five. That's the hardest one. I don't know why. This mm -hmm. is putting the triangle in, it just gets everybody all weird. Is there any dividing by three? No, it's not experiment. We don't have to worry about dividing by three. Nothing. Questions? Good? Let's go to the, the rectangular part now. So, what are the dimensions of that? 13 times 6 times 8. All right. If you don't know, I'm sure it was 13, 6, and how tall it was right there. 624. Okay. Putting them together. Eight times seven, eight times seven inches cubed. Good job. Good job. The hardest part are the triangular prism part because people get weird about dividing by two. They think, oh, well, I gotta divide by three. Oh, yeah. Don't get goofy. You know what to do. All right, last one I'm gonna do is this one. Actually, I'm gonna try to have you do this one yourself. It's just what we did. I'll help you set it up. Okay, so what are the two things you see there? You see a triangular prism. Yep. Yeah. And you see a rectangular prism. Okay, the thing I'm going to help you with though, so I'm going to look at the rectangle, the triangle portion of it. What is the dimensions of my triangle? It's this, that's the height of it. This is the base of it. The four would be how tall the whole pyramid or the whole prism is. So see if you can start figuring out. If you're here, I'll even start doing this for you. Okay, so what's this? That would be the triangle. See if you can start figuring it out by yourself. You can do it. Can do it. And what would I have in the triangle? Two and six. That's divided by two. It's just the triangle. Think about exactly what we did up. It's the same as it was before, only the triangle was a little bit. So, I have a question. Yep. So, for, so you know how four would be the height? Mm -hmm. What that be length? Four would be the height of the whole prism. If I would take that thing and I turn it like this, it'd be four oh. meters tall. That's what oh. I mean by the height of the prism. Like if I would take it and I turn it on the base, it would be four tall. I was confused. Is one that the No, no. Nope. So first you're gonna find this, right? Find your area here. And then if you would take that and you turn it, that H here, this is how tall it would be if you turn it on the side on this base. Like if you set on the base, that's how tall it would be. Oh, this makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that's the last see. example. <laughs> I'll give you a little more time. If you have any answer, you can just stop because I'm going to go through it step by step here. Uh, I don't remember the answers from the other class, so I do not remember. Like I said, I don't remember. I think I remember the answer the two. And it was a 
Can we do one another second yet? Okay. Okay. This is not an interview. I don't think so. I do not think so. Does it end in a nine? No. Oh, I was going to say. I don't believe it. Five. I'm not going to keep doing this. <laughs> no, you're back guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start. Triangle. The, the height was 2, the base was 6. So 2 times 6 all divided by 2, that gives me 6. What's the height of it? It was 4, because when I turn it on, that's how tall it is. So my triangular prism is 24. Oh, that's right. 24. Rectangular prism is just 4 times 6 times 4. 4 times 4 times 6, whatever thing. 96. Adding them together. Does it end with 10? Uh, let's try to do that one. The hardest part is that triangle. Matt, what did you screw up on? I, I'm um, just curious. Instead, instead of times 8, I took 2 times 4. And then I did. Oh, balls. gotcha. Okay. Do you see the triangle stuff? The first one you're going to work today is one exactly like, not this, this, exactly yeah. like this. Exactly like that. Cool. And different numbers. And you got to think, they're going to throw in a number you don't even need. So be aware that they're going to throw in a number that you don't even need. Of course they Okay. Because they're going to give you like, they're going to give you like something for this. Don't, did you need that? We didn't need that. So don't worry. If they're giving you a number, you don't need. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So when someone's selling a house, do they tell you the volume of the house? Well, until it's for footage, so pretty much the area that's going for. The volume? I don't know. I'm not talking about a house. I don't think it's going to I think they pretty much just say it's a two, it's a two floor house. Two bedroom. Two bedroom. All right. Thank you.